just when you thought it was safe to send your children to school. Dun, dun, dun. Molester Becky. That's right, folks. We got two, two Beckys in this video. What's going on, folks? It's your brother, Mad Black, the most dangerous and the most toxic black man on the internet. And I am black up in your face again with some more pro black commentary. So, like I said in the intro here, we got two, two for one Beckys who work at the same school district, who are best buddies. They even call themselves ride or die for each other and have been at, at both each other's weddings, I believe. These two chicks were out here messing around with students, messing around with little boys. That's right. So let's listen a little bit to the charges that have been filed on these two, and we'll get into my commentary as we go along. Let me make sure I got the, the sound here. Yep. And let's listen to the news report. This happened in Georgia, by the way. Two former teachers face serious charges involving students. A Gordon County grand jury has indicted Rayleigh Greeson and Brooklyn Schuler on charges related to having sex with students. The two were reportedly employed by the city of Calhoun School District at the time. The indictment states between October 2021 and January 22, Grayson had sex with two male students and Schuler had sex with one. The indictment charges both women with counts of sexual contact by employee or agent in the first degree. So I'm wondering, like, since the, these two were friends, right? Since these two were friends, the one... What's her name? Rayleigh Greason, the one with the blank stare on her face, looks like a psychopath in her mugshot. She, since they're friends, like, when did she, like, since she had two boys, I wondered, did she go to her friends, like, yo, you need to try some of this prepubescent penis here. You need to go down there, go down to the school, like I did, and get you some of this young stuff. I'm wondering, is that what happened? You know, did her friend turn her out and turn her on? To some little boys, because you know they say friends tell each other everything, right? They they share each other's secrets. So I'm sure she was telling her homegirl like, "Yo, you you think you're getting your back blown out by adult males? You need to go get some teenagers, or get some middle schoolers, or whatever. You know they won't they won't give out the names or the ages of the boys they were messing with. And what I've seen already, what I've seen already is the excuse that these two are going to try to come up with is the fact that when the charges were filed or when they first got caught, they were a little bit younger themselves. So they were like, like 19, 20 years old or whatever. And they were still, then they weren't fully teachers yet, but they were working for the school district. I think they were working as like teachers assistants or something like that. Right. So that, that's the excuse they're going to try to use is that, you know, we were young, dumb, immature. That's why we were molesting these kids. Now, do you think, do you think that any male, I mean, let's be honest. No, I don't think any male will be allowed to get away with this. But do you think any male would be able to use that as an excuse? Do you think any male would be able to be like, well, I was only 19 or 20 when I was having sex with your daughter where I, at the school I worked at, but it was, you know, I, I was just young and dumb and making a mistake. Absolutely not. And these two chicken heads should not be able to do the same thing, all right? They should not be able to get away with messing around with little boys and messing around with students. And, and the fact that, you know, they got charged with a felony and, you know, they... You know, they're putting some real charges on them. I'm, I'm assuming the ages of these these boys was very young. All right. A lot. Some people are trying to say, well, maybe the boys were 16 and 16 is the age of consent in Georgia. I doubt that. I sincerely doubt that. All right. Because I, I, I'm, I'm thinking because just just based on the charges, I'm thinking it's worse than that. And the fact that these both these dodo birds dirty nasty birds went and did that and they know each other means that they're probably passing information 
I, in my opinion, they should probably have their computers checked. They should have their phones checked because they might have been passing uh, child pornography back and forth. That's my opinion of what they were doing. Okay, because like I said, these two knew each other. They were friends. They said they were ride or die on social media. And you might want to check on the rest of their little gang, whatever other little girls they got in their clique, and see if they've been messing with any other, uh, see if they've been messing with any students out here, thinking it's okay to molest these little boys and, and, and mess these boys' minds up, basically. And, 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 and both you, you chicken heads had men already. You had men your own age. That's, that's, that's got to be messed up. Like if you, as a man, let's say you're a man, you get married to a, a young lady. You both get married when you're young, and then you come to find out your your wife is a jump off at the middle school and the high school. You know your 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 bride to be is getting bust down by some little boys. Like what what do you do then? Right? I, I would assume you cut her off. I know some of these simp ass dudes they be like, oh, I gotta stand by my Becky, but oh hell no, I'm not standing by you messing with some children. Okay, because that. That means you can't be trusted. If you can't be trusted around some children, then I definitely don't need to be around you. It's not just the fact that you're cheating, but the fact that you have a sick enough mind to want to have sex with children. That's that's a big problem, and that's and that's not easy to fix. All right, that's not something that you can just go to one therapy session and get fixed. No, you you have you are a sick individual. I can't trust you anymore. You know, and and if we have children, what you gonna be messing with my daughter's boyfriends? You know, you gonna be messing with the kids that come over for the birthday party for our child? Hell no, I'm not. I'm not going through that. No, your ass is going to jail, and I'm getting a divorce. I don't want to deal with you anymore because obviously you have no self control, and you're a sick individual. Get away from me. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, like I said, th this is. You know, they always talk about how great and how feminine and friendly Becky is. But here you got two of them. You got two, two for the price of one, messing with some kids. And you know what's crazy? When I went to find the news report, because I wanted to make sure I had a news report to, to, to let you guys listen to for this story. And I put, you know, two teachers messing with students. I got three other videos of of three different pairs of white females who have been messing with students. There is one where they double teamed the little boy. That's real sick. And th I think there was another one where, damn, I can't remember now. Like they, like it, it was another, another duo, another dusty duo of Becky's messing with high school boys. So this is a, 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 a very wide phenomena that goes on within the white community that, you know, everyone seems to worship and think it's so great. And, you know, the white women are just so clean and innocent. But here we are, them getting caught over and over again, messing with children. You you people out there, especially the ones with sons, you need to watch your, your boys. You better keep a, a close eye on them and make sure they're not getting molested by these female teachers. We always think we got to look out for the little girls. You need to look out for the little boys, too, because these, these grown-ass, nasty-ass women are, are putting themselves on these boys and messing these boys up, all right? You got to be careful out here, real careful. So you folks let me know how you feel about it in the comments section. i very much like to hear your opinions on this story. Anyway, this is Mad Black, and I will be back with my foot on a devil's back.